Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Evangel from CapacityBay.org and I'm your instructor for today's lesson. In our previous session, we stopped at using range to make a list of numbers. In this session, we will continue with simple statistics with the list of numbers. So without further ado, let's dive right in. A few Python functions are helpful when working with list of numbers. For example, you can easily find the minimum, maximum, and sum of a list of numbers. So let's work on an example showing the minimum, maximum, and sum of a list of numbers. So let's use digits as our, as our variable name. One, two, three. Let's open a set of So, the minimum, to get minimum of this particular variable, this set of numbers, that's minimum is the least number in the set of numbers, we use min. So, in brackets, with the variable we're talking about, digits. So, once you press enter, it shows the minimum number, which is zero. To get the maximum, same thing, max, that's the highest number, and then we go point nine. To get the sum, we use sum, that's this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 till 0. So we use sum. Let's go straight to list comprehensions. The approach described in our last session for generating the list squares, the list squares consisted of three or four lines of code. The list of squares that we were doing is the squares of these numbers where we were talking about using a value raised to power 2, which we said the, the raised to power in Python is star star soon. Now, a list comprehension allows you to generate the same or this same list in just one line of code. A list comprehension combines the for loop and the creation of new elements into one line. If you don't understand this, go back to our last recording, our last um, video and check it out. So, it combines the for loop and the creation of new elements into one line and automatically appends each new element. List comprehensions are not always presented to beginners, but I decided to include them here because you most like to see them as soon as you start looking at other people's code. So, let's work on an example using the same list of square numbers that we used earlier, but we'll use a list comprehension. This would be the same square squares is equals to now to use this syntax we begin with the descriptive name for the list which is squares. Now next thing open the set of the square open the set of square brackets then we'll define the expression of the four or we explain the expression of the values where we are seeing we are raising it to the second power value star star two because we're raising to the second power then we would write a for loop to generate the numbers that we want to feed the expression into, and then we'll close the square bracket. So we'll say for value in with put our range. range the first number to the number before the last number, which 
Jesus, one commandment, and that's it. Then we say, print schools. So, save. So run. As you can see, it shows the square of all the numbers from one to ten. So go straight to working with part of a list. So In our previous lessons, we have learned how to access single elements in a list. And in this chapter, you have been learning on how to walk through all elements in a list. In the last two lessons, we have been talking about how to work with lists. So, you can also work with a specific group of items in a list, which Python calls a slice. So, let's talk about slicing a list. To make a slice, you specify the index of the first and last element you want to work with as with the range function. Python stops one item before the second index you specify. To output the first three elements in a list, you will request indexes so of indices 0 through 3. So it will do 0, 1, 2. So let's work on an example talking about slicing in a list so say let's do this for players in a team players players So, now we we'll say print. Open the curly bracket player. Sorry, that's the normal bracket players, which is new at least. But then, now we want to only print the first three elements and in python we start from zero zero one two so we we'll call it what zero colon three because we want it, it normally it will stop and the number before the number that you have imputed so we're putting three so that it prints zero one two See, it prints the first three and it is in a list. So, this is slicing a list. So, you can also print from the first one, it's not necessarily from zero. At any point you want to print it from, you can print from there. As you can see, just these two names are what shows. And then, if you want to also print, this is when you want to print the first. Like you don't want to put that zero and not putting zero, it this one starts from the origin and prints to the number before this number given. So we're still going to print the same thing that we had in our first example, as you can see. Then if you want to print you can print it this way. Let's say three. So it prints from zero, one, two, three. It prints from the origin that's just this number so it prints zero one two three that's what it prints so it 
place from there so if you also have negative index minus three this we print from here this is in python minus one is the last element in the list minus one minus two minus three See, it prints the very last three, John, Martin, and Jake. So, in our next lesson, we'll be talking about looping through a slice. And that will be all for today's session. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop a new video. See you in the next session. Bye.